Hi everyone and welcome to another recipe video and today I'm making these super fluffy and super naughty chocolate pancakes. Now I did intend to have a structured cook and chat this week but as these pancakes are short and sweet so will this video be so let's get on with it. First you're going to need 120 grams of self-raising flour, make sure it's self-raising, and then add 10 grams of cocoa powder, and you're going to want to sift this because cocoa powder has a tendency to clump, a bit like matcha which I mentioned in the previous video, so give it a good sift so everything's nice and smooth, no lumps. And this really is a super simple recipe, I could have tried to stretch it out for about 10 minutes to make a discussion video but there is literally no point, don't you just hate it when other YouTubers do that, it's so boring. Anyway, add 2 tablespoons of caster sugar and a pinch of salt just to bring out that flavour. Now we're going to crack an egg right in the middle, this one's a medium one, medium large, small, doesn't really matter, and then add 2 tablespoonfuls of melted unsalted butter. And now we're going to gradually add in 130 millilitres of milk and I'm doing it bit by bit to avoid lumps again. So you're just going to stir it from the inside out. Now the reason why YouTubers stretch their videos sometimes for no reason at all is because actually if you get over 8 minutes you can add more than one ad to your video so it creates more revenue. So that is why. Not that I begrudge them of that. Okay, now we're just oiling up a pan, just use a little bit of oil, you don't want to drown it. And we have the pan on about a medium heat. And now you just want to drop scoopfuls of batter into the pan. I use an ice cream scoop so it's nice and even each time. Now many YouTubers do the whole video stretch for more ads thing really well, they make it engaging and interesting, which is the point of a YouTube video. I just take an issue with some where the content should have only been a couple of minutes long and then just drag it out. So we're just waiting for the pancakes to bubble and once you see the bubbles on the surface, flip them over and cook for about another minute. It only takes a minute or two to get to this bubbly stage. And now stack them up high. You're going to want to work relatively quickly for this if you want warm pancakes but don't worry because we're going to create the hot chocolate sauce. And to do this, we're literally just going to melt straight chocolate. Here I've got some dark and I'm melting it over a little simmering water but you can also do it in the microwave. I don't have a microwave so this is why I always do it this way, if I had one I would use a microwave because it is a bit faster, but you can do it this way. And now I'm also going to repeat this with white and milk chocolate because why choose when you don't have to? Of course you can choose any chocolate you like. And once that's all melted all you have to do is pour it over your pancakes and enjoy! Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one! Find the full recipe for these pancakes on tashcakes.com and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see as soon as my videos go up every Wednesday. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular too. Alright guys, stay safe, be nice and have a good week!